Hello everyone, Proto Guy here on the Gaming Hydra today, and we are playing Gone Home. Um, the more I've gotten into this story, the more I am just at a loss for words on how cool the story is. I mean, not even like a weird, like, oh man, oh, there's two girls who love each other, you're lesbians. Not, not, not like that, it's, it's just more along the lines of, it's just a really deep story, and it's cool. I am enjoying this, playing this. I'm enjoying sharing it with you guys, too. It's... The experience. Oh, uh, oh God, I almost chipped my pants. That, that there. I thought that was a person from down there. I was about to freak out. Because I'm like, God, they had me. They had me fooled so hard. Okay, what do we have here? Bratmobile. Costume, skeletons and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like a Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Psycho house girl. The coolest stuff about being a psycho house girl. Clue number one. Everybody in the hall thinks you don't know they're looking at you and whispers as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Cool. We have here. Women outlaws. Interesting. Tater chips. I like tater chips. Ingredients. Select potatoes. Not just any potatoes, but select potatoes. They didn't save me any. Now I must end them. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band. And our zine. And her hair. And everything are all anti-authority. I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Oh, okay. I'm back here now. Okay, cool, cool. Salon Josephine. Jan Greenbrier. 120 bucks? Holy crap. It's a lot for getting your hair did. I think it looks at that already. Uh, okay. Moving along. Moving right along. There's the thing down there. Um, earth, wind, and fire. Do you remember that copyrighted song that I can't really go much farther in or sing the tune to because it's copyrighted and I don't want to be sued? Read note. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. I love you, Mary X Smith, miss you, L. P.S. Treasure as always. Is a skull in there? Oh, it was the one downstairs, or on the thing, not far away. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's a creepy dining room. It's kind of a cool dining room. This whole house is kind of cool. Secret passages, attic, and a bit. Oh, that's a neat room. Attic and a basement. Open folder, examine slip. Uh, disturbing, distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen again, Dad. I had an interesting talk with Mom and Dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean... You've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. 
You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Read story. Blah, blah, blah. Closing story. Daniel finally came over to get oh, his this again. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for some reason, I almost believed him. Okay, so this side of this cassette is labeled L. I'm going to take a chance on playing it. If not, if it's like music that I don't think should be... Or, you know, might possibly be copyrighted, I, um... There'll be a cutaway and you'll know what happened. If it's something important to the story, we'll find out. Here it goes. Okay, yeah, so it was more music, so, uh... Just to avoid any problems, the... Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. The story is just getting really interesting. It's like... Based upon everything... What happened to her? Where is she? Where is everybody? Where is anybody right now? Anniversary trip. Ah, looks like they're on some kind of anniversary trip. That's why the parents aren't home. Okay, that explains quite a bit. Yeah, it's dark in here. Oh, it's the garage. Yes, I'm a pariah. Uh, that's kind of neat. Paint. Or blood. It's canary blood? They sell canary blood? No, finch blood. Cans of finch blood. Paint your house with it. Works real well. ROTC hat. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Lonnie and oh, going away sorry time. With her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Uh, what's this one say? Secret door under the stairs? 
We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. That's so sad. Oh, the attic key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. This story is getting sad. I just want to sleep. Oh no. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. No, 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 no. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. No, 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 no. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. She didn't, did she? And wait. Oh boy. Please tell me she didn't. Do something stupid. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. So she'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can. And get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. So she's not dead. She left. They followed their hearts. It's beautiful. Please turn to Sam Greenbrier. Katie. Do not I'm read so it if you're not Katie. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal. And oh, I get it. That you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. Just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again someday. Jazz hat.